Following the resignation of KwaZulu-Natal leader Makosi Koza, Action SA has introduced former Midval uh, mayor, uh, formerly with the DA, Bongani Baloi, as its new member. Well, to find out more, ENCA's Pule Literati Jones is on standby and is about to have a conversation, I believe. Uh, you are about to have a conversation with Bongani Baloi Pule. Um, the reasons coming out there, he says he's not bitter, he's not angry, he's joining Action SA because he believes this is the true realignment of politics in South Africa. Mm. And definitely to listen and him particularly saying that he had spoken to um, a DA uh, party leader, Helen Zilla, saying that there was no beef between the two and that his resignation, of course, didn't resent from anything which was a political squabble or something bad. But due to what, how voters had communicated during the um, local government elections in the form of voting when heading to the polls. But he's joining me, uh, right, me right now, the former Midfield Mayor, uh, Mr. Boman Baloy. Thank you very much for joining us on ENCA. Now, Thank you for having me. How do you feel? Why now and why have you joined Action SA from the DA? Look, I'm excited. I'm quite enthused. Uh, um, I'm excited to start a new political journey. Why now? It was a perfect time to do so. My move to a new political party has not affected government at all. It has not affected the transition to the new leaders of government in Medval. And it has also ensured that it happens in a period where the party was not focused solely on just issues of the coalition management. So I felt it's important to allow that process to happen and to do it at a time that serves me best and ensures that we don't interrupt or disrupt anything that's meaningful to the party or government. Do you think there's any um, political, ideological um, you know, policies between the DA and Action SA? Do you think there's any difference between the two parties? Look, ask any South African, Alexandra, what the DA stands for. And if they'll tell you, they'll be able to identify it within the ideological spectrum. South Africans want water, my brother. They want sewer. They want those things. They want pragmatic government that's able to resolve the issues of the day. That, for me, is, is, a, is a pull factor. And I'm happy to come into a vehicle that's, done, that's unencumbered without any baggage, but a genuine vehicle that's able to pull across South Africans, as demonstrated currently. You said you have been speaking to DA party leader Helen Zilla, but of course you were worried about how the voters were communicating during the local government elections when heading to the polls. What were you uh, trying to say around that? No, no, no. The point I was making is that there's no beef between me or Helen or any member of the Democratic Alliance. By the way, Helen Zilla is the federal council chair. Uh, John Stevenson is still the leader of the party. Unless things have changed since I've not been a member. But uh, my conversation with Helen was just basically understanding uh, where one is and what one is trying to do. So it was amicable. There was no no resentment or anything of that nature. So I'm trying to illustrate to you that this is a mature departure. There's no peace or anything. And I get the fact that this is confusing many media people because I'm the first politician to leave who's not being chased, who's not being chased by the police or any other thing or being purged in the party or there's political differences. I'm leaving as on my own accord to start a new political journey. I know this might be too early, but um, now joining the party, what are some of your ambitions? Would you be looking at contesting maybe for a position um, in the Midfall again or in Carpe? Look, my intention here is to lend my skill and expertise to my colleagues in government to ensure that I set my colleagues up for success in their roles in government to be a resource for the party. And as the party process unfold, there will be various opportunities. I think the uh, Senate has also has to apply its mind on how to best utilize me, but I've got a keen interest to assist those in government to ensure that I give them a competitive edge. Which is the last question before I throw back to my colleague in studio to us. Uh, Mr. Mashaba mentioned something about offers that you had received. Um, are you in a position to reveal who are some of those people that actually tried to get you into their political parties? No, it's not just political parties, also foreign NGOs as well, uh, out of the country as well, some key private sector companies as well. So it was across. So but fortunately, I'm still able to continue with a few business interests that I'm doing at this stage and still remain in politics. So I can't reveal all of those people. I mean, there's issues of confidentiality as well. Was there an offer from the ANC or EFM? No. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, the former Midval Mayor, Mr. Pongan Maloye, there too, joining us, um, giving us his insight as to what will be the next step of direction in joining Action SA. And as he's hopefully looking forward to working with the Senate and, of course, some of the leaders within the party. Yeah. All right, thank you for that. Um, that's ENCA's Bule Literati Jones there uh, in conversation with Bongani Baloi, who has now joined Action South Africa. His track record in government, of course, is out there in the local government sphere at least and it speaks for itself in fact i think it's the it's a measure of the man that 
the ANC's Tadashi Sabalele, in 2020, uh, penned a, an open letter and basically saying to him, I hear that you want to leave. Ordinarily, you and I are adversaries and, you know, across the political aisle, but I would really hope that you don't leave because you have really contributed uh, to the development of Midval. He wasn't perfect, didn't fix all of Midval. There were many, many problems, but at least many acknowledging that his heart was in the right place. What happens now with his political journey? That's what we are watching as